welcome back to Memory Box, aka Things Were Better In My Day. So today we're going to be looking at some of my old 90s Sonic merchandise. So we will start with Sonic the Hedgehog Panini Sticker Album. So I think they used to be, you get a pack of like 10 stickers I think for 20p. And this is based I think up to Sonic 3 and the Sonic cartoon. So I've got the intro here, and I had to put my own little commentary because I had this really bad habit as a child of just graffitiing everything, and I really, really regret it now. So we've got old school 90s Sonic here. So the stickers, I never did complete the sticker album. Throwing a bag of sweets. I used to fangirl Amy Rose so much when I was younger. Hence the heart. And I think I used to ship Sonic and Amy a lot. I was a shipper when I was a kid. And now we've got Robotnik. This is back in the days when he actually was called Robotnik. Robotnik. And you get a little poster. Okay, with the transparent background stickers. Again, there's more of a graffiti. You can see that. Drew one is enough, and I have no idea why I felt the need to do that. And then we've got tails. So that drops falling down. And he's got more sweets. I seem to have a thing about tails and sweets. And this is from the Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon. We watched a few episodes recently and, and they were kind of silly, <laughs> but we like them a lot as kids. And here's all the power ups. So, I never actually played Sonic the Hedgehog as a child. My cousins had a Mega Drive and they used to play it, and I used to watch them play it, but they never actually let me play it. I think because I'm a girl, <laughs> therefore I, I shouldn't know how to play video games. But I did play it recently as an adult, but I just never finished it. Okay, and then we've got the puzzle page, and for some reason I felt the need to write Clark Kent there. Mm. Anyway, that's a Sonic Stick Rubber, and you get the pull out poster in there too. And you get the glitter. Well, they call it glitter, but it's more like hollow stickers. And I didn't get that many of these. Does anyone remember the Sonic the Hedgehog toffee biscuits they used to sell in the 90s? They were so nice. I remember we always get my aunt to buy them for us. So we have, being a hoarder that I am, I actually used to cut out and collect all the facts on the back. So we've got Sonic facts there, Tails. So th these were out, I think it was like 1993. So one of the newer characters, and you've got Robotnik. Robotnik is a con Robotniks, apparently. Robotniks is a control freak. Actually, he's just a freak who wants to control everything. And his old name was Ovi Kintobor until the Big Bang turned him into the mad bad dude. Yeah, I think they really need to do a bit of um, proofreading because <laughs> they were kind of lazy when it came to text. Princess Sally, apparently she's a chipmunk, not a squirrel. They've got she's a squirrel here. And she's meant to be brown, not pink. I'm not sure where they got the pink from. Because we have got a picture of her in the sticker album. Where she is in fact brown. Anyway, so that's the character facts that I managed to see. And then we've got Princess Sally again. So this is the only one. These were actually on the front. So I used to get a multi-pack of the biscuits and then you'd get the little packs inside. And then the pictures would join up together to make one large picture. This is the only one I think I managed to complete. So we've got another pink Sally there. And then we've got Robotnik and Sonic. And then Robotnik and Sonic again. 
his ball, what's the cold? He's not on here. I think he was called Bomber or something. Buzz Bomber. I'll have to look it up. Um, oh, a random picture of Felix that I think my nephew drew for me. I don't know which one though. And last but not least, we have the Sonic the Hedgehog Tiger LCD video game. So I actually have the original package in there because, like I said, I'm a tall order. And yeah, it's um, a bit worse for wear. And I got this from Argos, as you can see. It was 17.50 and it's now £8.50 and that's what the back of the packaging looks like. And yes, it does work. I think the buttons are a little bit jammed. Um, I ruined it. I, I was trying to clean off some sticker residue because I'd had a thing about sticking stickers on everything and I dissolved the ink. It went underneath the plastic and it just off some of the ink. Uh, but yeah, it does still work, so let's switch that one. I really, really hated this thing because of the, um, the lava. there's like lava and it's so hard to avoid. So this game is really frustrating. Oh, well, there you go, who cares. Um, my sister has a Sonic the Hedgehog 2 which I liked a lot more. It had the Casino Night Zone which had the little flippers so you could play pinball with Sonic. Um, yeah, this one was frustrating. I actually preferred my Little Mermaid game to this one. Anyway, that's all the Sonic action for today. Hope you enjoyed watching that. Thanks for watching.